After returning from serving the Lord in Outer Mongolia for two years, I came home and I thought I was on top of the world. I got into college, something I never thought I would do. I ended up running for student body president. I didn't make it, but I sat on the presidential board and served in the student government. I had a wonderful experience. Then life turned upside down. Within a year or so after that, I was diagnosed with mental illness and my world was forever changed. And I spent the next about 20, almost 23 years searching and trying to understand what had happened to me, why it happened to me, and what I could glean and learn from it. And the beauty of this all is that that same enthusiasm that I had as a young voluntary missionary in Outer Mongolia has returned. I have reclaimed the vigor of my youth. I'm beginning I'm on the process of trimming down to my ideal weight. I've lost a boatload of weight in the past several months, and I have found, or shall I say, I broke the code finally and I turn and give glory to God and his goodness and his kindness towards me an unworthy creature one who is weak yet through the mercies of Jesus Christ I have been able to turn that weakness to a strength and now I want to give back and say thank you to God by serving others and helping them so it doesn't take them 23 years to get to where I I've finally gotten and I'm still growing I'm still up a way to go I'm still I haven't, I haven't finished figured it all out I tell you that when you turn your life over to the Lord, He works miracles in your lives. He can help you get fit again. He can help you put your life in order and He can open four blessings upon you. Blessings as wide as a mighty river and He'll pour that upon you when you turn to Him. So in the past 23 years, I have gone through is facing my greatest fear of mental illness. And in so doing, that brought me to great humility and it, it prepared me to be married to a beautiful and wonderful woman who saw me as the diamond in the rough, if you will. Years later, I asked her well, what she saw in me. She said, the Lord looketh on the heart and she knew that my heart was right. And she didn't look at the, all the baggage that I had. For instance, when we got married, I was about 260 pounds when I should have been about 200 pounds. And she has been an example to me throughout the years of one who is diligent and doing what is right and consistently exercising faith. And after this beast, almost 20 years of marriage for us, I'm beginning to see the light and beginning to comprehend how where I was as a young missionary was amazing and I loved it. And I'm there again today, but I've got 23 years of experience, life's experience, where I have been through trials, tribulations, and a purging of my soul to see where my heart is. So for example, as I mentioned, I came home and I ran for student body president and I practiced the principles taught by Dale Carnegie in Dale Carnegie's book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And when I practiced those principles, my mind was blown in that popularity became so easily achievable. You simply practice these correct principles and you get the results. And in the world, they tell you that, you know, we only look for health, wealth, and relationships, those three major results. And if you live these correct principles, you can get those three results. Well, I lived those correct principles and I got popularity really fast. And it scared me because I felt like it was a window of my soul. Like was my purpose to get popularity or was my purpose to build God's kingdom and to run for a student body president at the time? I convinced myself that I was doing it because I wanted the popularity. I wanted to live those principles. I wanted to do things that I didn't have the, the gumption to do in high school, did in college. And after that experience, um, for the next year or so, I did some soul searching and I eventually was led to being diagnosed with mental illness and spent the next 20 plus years searching my soul. And I'm here to tell you today that it's all about seek first the kingdom of God and all things be added unto you. When you seek him first, he opens doors for you. He enables you to be fit. He enables you to have vigor of life and to be of greater service to others, to be a light on a hill, to be the salt of the earth. And when you turn your life over to him, he grants you access to his power and enables you to be more than you can on your own. And I know this by personal experience. I've not only just read about it and heard about it and prayed about it, but I've actually lived it. And I see it in my life and in my children's lives and in my way marriage and it is beautiful and I invite you to turn to the Lord turn your life over to him regardless of where you hear your truth from whatever denomination it may be from it is 
God that gives the increase in your life. And when you practice His principles, you live His seeds, you plant His righteous seeds in your heart and allow them to grow, then you are enabled to partake of the fruits of it. And I'll close with a quote I've shared previously. Act is the blossom of thought and joy and suffering are its fruits. What thoughts are you having? What acts are you having as a result of those thoughts? And if they're not good and they don't bring joy, I invite you to change them so that you can have vigor and fitness and be of better service to your fellow man as you're lost in the service of your God.